Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start the creepy steeple. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a nice thing glass. <laughs> Very artistic. Anyway, I'm gonna check this place with Goombella, I suppose. Inside the creepy steeple. Yeah, at least the moon provides a little light, you know? This place seems super old, huh? I'd like to research it. Yeah, as soon as it's not haunted. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, right off the bat, there's this hole, which leads to a storage room that contains a shine sprite, and look at that, look at that behind the stool. It's a star piece. And inside this chest contains an ice smash badge. Inside this chest contains something I'll do later. <laughs> Uh, you can pick that up for now if you'd like, but it contains a side quest item of which I would like to save for later when I do that side quest for the sake of the walkthrough. So, yeah, you know, organization and whatnot. Um, speaking of badges, I haven't really been utilizing the, the badge points that I got on, upon the level up. So let's see what we can equip and de-equip here. Um, I think I showed, I don't think I showed those off. I don't think I showed the shrink stomp off here. Well, maybe I did. I don't. I don't really remember. I'm gonna turn that off for now because I'd, I'd really like to have the quake hammer badge on for the enemies in this area. Um. Uh, you know what? I'm overthinking things. Let's just do that for now because I'm not gonna be able to show off all the badges I want to show off all at once anyway. So let's just not like swap too many badges around. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you, would you please let me through that? I very much appreciate that. Oh, fine, fine. I'll just take this other door. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Teleportation. <sighs> fine, I'll just take this path then. Oh! It's a dead end. Gotta go back. No, 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 no. <laughs> As you can see behind the star statue, there's some scrape marks, which means... This was moved! Whoa! Whew, glad there was a spring down here. That could have been painful. And, oh, geez, someone put up the wrong color of wallpaper. You should really fi figure the matching colors. I gotta take this down and get it fixed up. Oh, there's a hole behind it! Would you look at that? And it leads into inky black darkness. And it leads to death! No, I, I, actually, no, it's just a flower saver badge. I just, I, I, I jumped to conclusions there. <laughs> it's a handy badge to have if you uh, use a lot of flower points in your uh, move strategies. And I don't think, yeah, there's nothing over there. I didn't think there's anything over to the left. All right, so let's go through this door. Oh, I should swap back to uh, Goombella. Because, you know, I got to tattle some stuff in this area. Mm, oh, well, well, I don't know. I don't really trust this chest. I mean, it looks pretty friendly, but I don't trust it. I don't think I have any other choice, so let's just open it up. It can't be that bad, could it? I mean, let's just see what's... Oh! It's Luigi's Mansion all over again! <laughs> oh. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. Just now in the box open. How many of us boos came out total? The answer will always be 200, and you most certainly want to pick 200. You'll see why. Good. Very good. Take this, math nerd. What? It, ma math has nothing to do with counting. See, you sucker. Of course you'd run after I use logic on you. It's an ultra shroom. Yeah, you'd, you'd, miss on, use, ugh, you'd miss out on that if you chose the wrong answer. So you definitely want to choose the right one. Woo! All right, let's go back. Oh, there's a boo here now. Oh, you seem so sad. Hey, I got you a friend. I got you a friend. I'm not! There's a friend over there! It, eh, fine, I'll talk to the other one. Are you going to be mean to me? Yes! And go away, meanie! Oh. Okay. No, I, I won't be mean to you. Wait, what is Goombella at this one? Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, now let's talk to it and say, No, I will not be mean to it. I'm sorry for doing that. Promise? Yeah, I promise, I promise. Come on out, guys! Woo! It's a boo party! Woohoo! Where's the disco ball? Uh-oh, they're doing something. They're doing something. Oh no, what are they doing? I'm scared. 
I'm scared. They're starting to latch onto me. Help! Somebody help me! No! I think they're turning me into a disco ball. Ooh! Take me to the afterlife! Oh no, they're they were just plopping me outside. Okay. Whew. I really shouldn't jump to conclusions. Yeah, they're like wall masters in uh, the Zelda series. They're more annoying than anything. But if you want that to stop, uh, if you want that to stop happening, there is something that you can do here, which involves fighting an optional boss. Get your hammer charged up. And when they start latching onto you, wait for it. Knock them off! And eventually, they stop. You said you'd be nice. Let's get them, guys! Uh-oh. They're all combining to form... Bootron! No, it actually... They're forming the Atomic Boo! An entirely optional mini-boss that if you win, the booze will stop bothering you in the lobby and you'll be able to get a badge from it. So anyway, let's of course start out with a tattle on this secret boss. That's an optomic boo! It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos! It really is like Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Max HP is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. This thing will try to swoosh us. It can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. But when we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. I sure wouldn't want to see this thing standing behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy. <laughs> so, uh, this boss, it can cause a lot of status issues, and if you're really unlucky, it can cause you some issues. But it's not all that difficult to boss overall. Uh, it typically attacks, I think actually all of its attacks, attack both you and your partner at the same time. So it can wear down your HP relatively quickly, but I would like to show off all the attacks it's got, if at all possible, if the random number generator... Oh yeah! If the random number generator will work for me. Woo! Kind of a waste, because, you know, I wasn't that low on stuff, but it's nice to have some sort of recovery anyway out of that. Woo! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep chipping away at its HP until it does its other attacks, and see if it'll do its all of its attacks before I have to start wailing on it for the finishing blows. You know, because my HP will eventually uh, start wearing down on, in on itself. Even though it's an easy boss, I can't last forever after all. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> oh, when it goes into shy mode like that, it'll do one of two attacks on the next turn. Uh, one is sending a load of booze at you, and the other is attacking both you and your partner at the same time with some sort of, like, scare tactic move. What's it gonna do? That's the scare tactic move. And it causes status move. I mean, status effects if you don't guard it properly. Mm, let's see. Oh, what's, what's in the audience? Oh! Oh! Very nice item! Alright. Is it worth trying an attack when you're confused? Ah, it worked! Sometimes when you're confused, it'll do something that you didn't tell it to do. Oh, new attack! Probably the easiest to guard one. Uh, it's got one more. Uh, I'll just defend. <laughs> just to wait it out, see if it does the attack that I am looking for it to do. It might do it. It might do it, and it's its signature attack, which hasn't, which it hasn't done yet, which I'm kind of... Surprise that. Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? Defend! I want to burn turns, not destroy it. That's not the attack. Poopers. Um, will I be able to defend successfully? Yes. Will I be able to defend successfully? Yes. And back to shy mode. Ooh, thank you very much. Um, I wonder if I should like do a sweet treat just to stall for time here. If this even works, okay. He's, you know, confused. <clears throat> so let's just stall for time. I want to see its other... Well, I want to show its other attack. I know, oh! I, wanna, I know what its attacks are, but I just want to show it for the people. <laughs> Dang random number generator. Not working in my favor lately. <laughs> and... Defend. Okie dokie. Still not doing it. Arr. Very much appreciate if you were to do that attack. So one more sweet treat. Oh, 
Yep, confusion. Fine, fine, defend. <laughs> it's not, not really that big of a deal. Okay, going back into shy mode. Sweet treats? Okay, it worked. Still stalling, still stalling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, come on. This is gonna be a bad sweet treat, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, now do the attack. Do the attack. There it is. You have to press A button in time three times with that attack, and as you can see, it attacks with boos of varying uh, attack points as it goes on. Alright, now let's finish it off. Because you've seen all the attacks, you don't need to see any more. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo, indeed! I think I'm gonna upgrade my HP this time because the attack power of enemies is only gonna get stronger and I'm gonna need some more endurance. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Oh, yeah! The crowd on the stage is gonna get bigger at the next battle because I leveled up and got to the point where the stage will increase, which means higher star, uh, star point recovery. And yeah, anyway, this is the reward that you get for um, defeating the Atomic Boo. It's a lucky start badge. I don't typically like using anything luck based in walkthroughs because, you know, it's not really a, a strategy people can rely on. But uh, yeah, it's something that you might want to try uh, if you... Uh, oh wait, I got... Uh, I want Goombella out, actually. <laughs> what am I thinking? I was going to swap to Goombella, but she was already out. I don't know, sometimes I'm stupid. <laughs> um, but anyway... ha Yes, you can attack some flying enemies if they swoop down low enough with the hammer as a first strike. And this is a swooper. I will battle it and tattle it as I've been doing with all the enemies that I've come across to this point. That's a swooper! I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius! <laughs> Sarcasm. It's funny, right? Max HP is 6, attack is 3, and the defense is 0. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can just damage it, it'll drop off the ceiling, and then you can whack it. And that is why I equipped the Quake Hammer, because there's a bunch of these around the area. So once it's off the ceiling, oops, I thought that was going to hit Goombella. Once it's off the ceiling, uh, it won't reattach itself to the ceiling, so you don't really have to worry about that. I'm going to attack the back bat. Super. Of course, and... There we go. Dividing and conquering. And one last attack for the road, I suppose. And there we go. It's done. They're gone. It's over. They've been tattled. No more supers necessary to show. <laughs> and it's gone. I have reaped its spoils. I think there's... Yeah, there's another one here. Whoa! Over here is a opening in the fence. You can't go off to the left, but if you go off to the right, you're going to get another one of those sorts of items for Tasty's uh, recipes. Another unlimited sort of item. It's a golden leaf and recovers 10 flower points. Pretty nice to be able to get those as many times as you want, actually. Uh, over there is a switch. I'm not going to show what that does just yet because i got to show you what's in the next room in order for it to make sense. Um, so going to this room, somewhere... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Star piece underneath the floor panel. Uh, if you go up these stairs and go through this door, notice there's three doors up there. Ah! And we're back to the start. Uh, so, but as you can see, there's the other two doors will lead to the other two places at the upper floor. Uh, oh, I should actually uh, tattle a boo, shouldn't I? Hey, you. Hey, you. Ah! I wanted to jump on it. Oh well. <laughs> Upgraded stage, baby! Oh yeah! Uh, tattle, and I wonder if I should battle these off. The boos can be kind of tricky, and they, they can sometimes take a while too. That's a boo! Has everyone favorite favorite ghost? Well, most everyone. <laughs> Actually, speed is 7, and attack is 3, and defense is 0. It's nothing to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, we won't be able to hit it, so beat it while you can see it. 
Those are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't want to meet one in the dark alley. <laughs> I ran into one, into one in the bathroom in the middle of the night. I, uh, well, you never you mind what I do. <laughs> so I wonder if I should just like earth tremor these suckers because you've got a um, seven HP and this would chip them down to a place that I can successfully start one-shotting them easily enough, and I can recover these star points later anyway, so, yeah, let's do this. Ah, uh, nice stained glass in the background. La 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 la. Will I be successful on this? Yes! Boop! <laughs> and now they're gonna start attacking! Oh, that was a little bit early there. What's it gonna do? Ah, oh, it's gonna make it invisible. Yeah, they can make each other invisible, and they can also um, uh, change the place that they they are at. Like, they can float. Oh, what did I do that for? It was invisible. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes the, the, the dumb things that I do in videos, I swear, it's like, I make it seem like I've never played a game before. <laughs> and now that one's invisible. But that one is not invisible anymore. Now it can be damaged! <laughs> oh, that would have been nice to kind of recover that after the uh, use of it. Um, how about I... Appeal. Yay! <laughs> Why not? I mean, I can't do anything right now at the moment anyway, so yeah. So now it changed position so you can't use hammers on it because it's floating higher. That actually is probably the best position for it to be at, so why doesn't it just start there? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so, that's how boos are like. Oh, and they'll keep attacking you. It's, it's nothing like the boos that try and eject you from this lobby, though, so it's not that big of a deal or anything like that. Oh, more swoopers. Now, if you follow this path, you'll find another door and another switch. Now, where does this door lead? You can probably guess it. Yep, back to this stairwell. I don't think there's anything else in here, actually. Um... But now for those switches. There's a switch on that side, and there's a switch on this side. Depending on which switch you hit, will make it will make that staircase move. Like this one's gonna make it move towards me. It always moves towards the switch that you hit it, that uh, that you use to hit. And if you go inside, you'll see the staircases move closer. If you hit that switch again, when it's in this position. Absolutely nothing will happen. <laughs> so anyway, you want to start out with this position of the staircase because uh, the other one leads to a locked door. If you didn't see that when you uh, uh, came through here before. Oh, oh, nope, not gonna happen. No siri. See, there's a locked door over there. And uh, I don't need to cross this gap. I don't need to cross this gap. Yeah, I got a steeple key. All right. Um... Switch back over to Goombella, just in case I need to tattle stuff. Come on. Oh, oh you're gonna go over there. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> now, going over to the other switch will make the staircase come towards you on that side. So that means in order for me to move the staircase over to the um, other door, like on the other side that leads to the locked door, I'm gonna have to hit this switch twice. As you see, once you hit it once, it moves back over to the middle position, which is useless. <laughs> that middle position is pretty much just a trap. I only use that trap as a way to go back, so I could show you the other path, basically. And there we go. Alright, let's go over to the locked door. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, I wonder what's... Beyond the locked door. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not gonna happen. Alright, let's see what's behind the locked door. In the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then. Feel the suspense. Feel it. Feel it in your bones.